Hello, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Shh. Okay, it's not really that much of a secret because it's gonna be coming out public soon, but I made a mini course. If you are interested in getting your retreat idea to an actionable retreat plan, you're gonna wanna be one of the first people on my wait list to find out about retreat anchor shoot me an email in the subject line put add me to the wait list and i'll get you added so that you get all the updates and find out when the launch comes later this month now let's get into the show welcome to the stronger tides podcast the podcast for small business entrepreneurs and corporate executives to learn more about increasing their client or employee retention through a group cruise program Ready to drop anchor? Here's your host, travel advisor, Rita Perez. Hi, hi. Welcome back to the podcast. We're going to do another winging it session just because there's been a lot of really great news coming into the travel world that I think you should know because Again, it is just more positive steps moving the cruise industry forward, and I am so dang excited. Now, first, I do want to mention, so last week I talked about the MSC Meraviglia, and I was actually mistaken. It is the MSC Grandiosa that is sailing, and it is a Meraviglia class ship. So an honest mistake there, but I did want to clarify it is the MSC Grandiosa ship that is sailing. So getting that out of the way, I had also talked about the TUI Mineship ships that are sailing out of Germany. And coincidentally, two of my favorite vloggers on YouTube Got on an interview yesterday, so Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides on YouTube, he is actually sailing on the Mind Shift 2. And he went on to Cruise Tips TV with Sherry, she also has a podcast, and they did an interview about his experience on the Mind Shift 2. So on the Mind Shift 2, really all what they're doing right now is just a cruise to nowhere, uh, which I'm sure... Any of us would much prefer a cruise to nowhere than no cruise at all. So I am in. I just want to give some of the highlights that he mentioned. Definitely go ahead and check out his interview. It's on the Cruise Tips TV YouTube channel with Sherry and Morgan. And really fun interview, about 26, 27 minutes long. And they talk about a lot of different aspects of cruising right now. And so I'm just gonna go through a couple little tidbits. So it is a cruise to nowhere. Uh, last week I had also mentioned that Mind Ship is a TUI ship, and TUI is a brand in the Royal Caribbean family of brands. It is a German brand, and as such, right now they are only allowing Germans on the ship, hence Morgan being able to sail. Morgan is not German. He is American, but he did, uh, what's the, what's the right word? He moved, I guess. The easiest word is that he moved to Germany quite a few years ago. And because they're only doing Germans and Germans, the, the cases of the virus are going down, they didn't have to do a temperature check because he wasn't coming from a zone that they deemed was a high risk zone. What else? Oh, something really fun. So we buffets are a big hot topic. And so he was talking about having a buffet buddy. So somebody from the crew was actually his buffet buddy and would go along and help serve him all the different meals off of the buffet that he wanted. So guests are still not able to handle anything from the buffet. So they have crew members helping out with that. Uh, also interesting, they have escorts for the shows in the theater. So yes, they are doing the theater shows and yes, they are spacing out. And they have escorts take you to some seating in the theater and following when the show breaks afterwards, everybody in an orderly fashion with their little theater buddy gets escorted out as well. 
So that was pretty cool. Oh, another really interesting thing I found, or he, that he mentioned, there's no interior cabins. So everybody's either being booked in a balcony cabin or in a suite cabin, which really is awesome because those all have the fresh air so you can open uh, to the open outdoors outside. It's just the ocean. You're not going anywhere again. But hey, having sitting out on the balcony in front of the ocean is better than on my couch right now. I mean, I love my couch, but uh, yeah, we all need a, a difference right now. We need different scenery. Hey, hey, interested in getting an actual numbers comparison of a land retreat versus a cruise retreat? You know, honestly, when I was putting this document together, I couldn't even believe the great difference between the numbers. Visit strongertidespodcast.com to be added to my weekly email list and get the download now. Back to the show. And lastly, I wanted to bring up the muster stations. So he said that instead of everybody congregating in one big muster station, it's kind of like there's lots of individual stations now and you get your own individual training, your muster training. That is his experience on the Mind Shift 2. So again, that's Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides. And it was on the Cruise Tips TV YouTube channel. Uh, things that recently got announced uh, today, Monday, which is when I'm recording this, Costa Cruises. They are going to start sailing this month. Woohoo! So more exciting news. It's just awesome. So we're going to have MSC out in the seas, TUI, and now Costa. And Costa is one of the carnival brands of ships, if you didn't know. They are going to be doing Italy cruises only. So similar to MSC, or not MSC, well, yeah, similar to MSC, but similar to the mind shift, it will only be that country. So it's only going to be Italians that are able to go on the ships and it's only going to be Italian cruises. So they'll be able to go to Italian ports and that's how it's going to be for a little bit. And I think that's, that's, Really great, whatever small percentage of people we can get out on the ships to make sure all these new protocols and practices are in place, I think it's gonna be great for whenever us here stateside can start going out there and start getting back to the oceans. Now, a little bit of a different, getting, getting out of the oceans and into the air, Gonna talk a little bit about a big announcement from lots of the major air carriers. Uh, so far, what I know, because it kept updating every couple of hours, United, Delta, and American Airlines are permanently not charging change fees on their tickets, their air tickets. Woohoo! <laughs> this is so exciting because I think that's just one of the pains of having to travel is that so you have paid all this money to go ahead and, and book the ticket do the travel and something may have come up last minute and now you have to fork out more money because you have to change your arrangements it it is a little bit cumbersome so that i think is a very positive change now i will note at least for delta i don't know if this is applicable for the other ones the basic economy fares are not included, which I don't know why you would want to travel basic economy. I may be a travel snob in that sense, uh, but basic economy doesn't give you as many rights, for lack of a better word, as, as other regular economy or premium economy or business first class. There, I have said a mouthful. So updates on cruising experience and some really cool changes for the airline industry. I think we're all moving in a wonderful, positive direction. If you have any cruise news that you'd like to share with me, please shoot me an email and stay safe. Thanks for joining us on the Stronger Tides podcast. Please subscribe to our podcast. And if you found value in this show, we'd appreciate a rating or a share with your colleagues. Find us on social media at Rita Ventures Group Cruising and online at RitaVentures.net. Until next time, happy sailing.